children. So children, thief is committing uh, some robbery and started running at 50 meters per minute. After two minutes of his uh, running, uh, police have started chasing him at the rate of 60 meters per minute. This fellow, he is going at same constant speed. He is going at constant speed. But this fellow, for every minute, he started increasing his speed for 5 meters per minute. If not, he can't because he started after 2 minutes. So he has to walk, uh, run very fast. So every minute he is increasing 5 meters per minute. So after how many minutes the police will catch the thief? This is the question. Simple logic children. Police will catch, police will catch thief if their distances will become equal. If their distances become equal. Their both distances should become equal. Means uh, distance ran by thief should be equal to distance ran by police. Then only he can catch. That's all. No? How much distance this thief has ran? That's not distance. Uh, if this, uh, if he can, uh, if he can uh, coincide with his distance, then police can catch the thief. Okay, now children. So how to do like this sums? Okay, be careful, children. I'm telling all of you listen carefully. All of you listen carefully, children. So. The total distance traveled by thief should be equal to total distance traveled by police. We will use sum of n terms still. Sum of n terms. This fellow is going with constant speed, so speed is equal to distance into time. Sorry, distance. Sorry, children. This is distance. No? Distance traveled by thief. Total distance traveled by the thief is equal to total distance mm -hmm. traveled by police. Total distance. This is total distance. So, okay. So, children, this is distance traveled by thief. Distance traveled by thief should be equal to distance traveled by force. So distance is equal to we you know speed into time because it is constant speed. And this distance, because he is increasing at constant rate of five meters per minute, it will be an AP children. So AP total formula n formula is n by two into n by two into two a plus n minus one into two. Okay, children. Here we are taking time as n. Here also we will take time as n. Then it will be easy. Okay, so listen carefully. What is happening means sir, since sir, this fellow is starting after two minutes, after two minutes, he is two minutes slow. Here we have to keep n minus two, here n minus two. Here we have to keep n minus two, here we have to keep n minus two. Or else, one more easy method I will tell children. Instead of keeping here n minus two and here n minus two, here we will keep n plus two children. Means sir, he is two minutes late, means he is two minutes early. He is two minutes late, means he is two minutes early. So, here, what is the sp uh, speed children? 50. And he is starting 2 minutes early, I will say. Okay. So, n by 2 into, what you are getting? 2a. He initially started with 60 and he increased and constant difference of 5 meters per minute. Please carefully check children how I am doing. Carefully check all of you how I am doing. So, no locking in the middle. Please see here children. Okay. So, 50 into 50 into n plus 2 is equal to n by 2 into 120 plus 5n minus 5. 5n minus 5. This 2 will come here. 100 into n plus 2 is equal to n into 115 plus 5n. Please all of you mute yourself. All of you should mute yourself. Okay. So children, 100n plus 200 is equal to 115n plus 5n square. This both things you bring here children. 5 n square 115 minus 100 is 15 n minus 200 is equal to 0. 5 if you take common n square plus 3 n minus 40 is equal to 0. 5 goes down 0 by 5 0 n square plus 3 n minus 40, 400 is equal to sorry, 40. 40 is equal to 0. 8 phase of 48 minus 5 is 3 children. 8 phase of 48 minus 5 is 3. I hope you people are copying. Okay n square plus 8n minus 5n minus 40 is equal to 0. n if you take common n plus 8 minus 5 if you take common n plus 8 is equal to 0. Whatever you get here you should get n. n plus 8 into n minus 5 is equal to 0. So n is equal to it can be minus 8 or any n 5. But time cannot be negative no children. And then also we learned in a arithmetic progression that n can be never be an integer. This one of fraction. This is not possible. After five minutes, police can catch thief. After five minutes of 
traveling police can help the this this is how you should do the some children uh, so it, on right hand side you can take n minus 2 or left hand side you can take n plus 2 that is how it will become easy for you to do the sum